Yes, brother. Pranam Guru. My name is Advait Vilas Kakade. I am from Nayar Hospital. I am a medical student. My question is, we are actually very fortunate to get this human form of life. This is very, very rare, which comes from millions and millions uh, years. So, in what respect we should utilize that human form of life? Or what is the most sublime aim in our life? Or what is the real goal of human form of life? The brother said that he is a medical student from Nair Hospital. I have to mention that even I passed from Nair Hospital, same hospital. I passed from the same medical college, Nair Hospital. I passed in 1991, approximately 16 years back. The brother asked the question that we get this human life. How should we utilize this human life? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Dariyat, chapter number 51, verse number 56. That we have created the men and the jinn not but to worship him. Worship him means obeying him. So the best we can do with this human life is to obey the commandments of Almighty God and let peace prevail in this world and the hereafter. The creator of the human beings, he will be the best person to give this answer. It's mentioned in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed? This life that we have, brother, is a test for the hereafter. We are undergoing a test. And if we follow the commandments of our Creator and lead life according to what He has said and let peace prevail by submitting our will to the Creator, we'll be successful in this world as well as the hereafter. Hope that answers the question. Yes, but uh, what we shouldn't, we young students, what should you do for that? Ah, what you should do? Brother should read the Quran. Read okay, the Quran and implement on the guidance of the Quran. If you read the Veda, the Veda speaks about one God, no idol worship. The Veda says there is a Rishi to come, there is a Kalki Avatar to come. He will show you good things. That Kalki Avatar is Prophet Muhammad. This Quran is the last and final revelation of Almighty God to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Read this message, accept it so that there is peace in this world as well as in the Akhira. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you very much, sir.